Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. A new federal lawsuit claims Ohio State University received multiple warnings alleging a team doctor was sexually abusing students. Dana Jacobson has that story. When I reread this, it makes me angry because they invalidated me back then in 1995. Back then, Steve Snyder Hill was a student at Ohio State. He showed us the complaint he filed after visiting student health services to check on a lump in his chest. And it's really clear it's just somebody it's taking all, handwritten notes. It's my words. He told a school representative that his conversation with Dr. Richard Strauss felt flirty and not at all appropriate. He reported that the doctor pushed his groin against him and gave him unnecessary testicular and rectal exams. He was a doctor. I was a student. I went in there vulnerable. I was even more vulnerable because he had me declothe and I'm sitting there in front of him and everything's going really badly. Were there points within the exam where you thought, I should say something, but I don't know what to do, where this is strange? No. When it was happening to me, I was literally letting it happen because I didn't know how to respond to it. After Snyder Hill reported the incident, the director of Student Health Services wrote a letter saying they had never received a complaint about Dr. Strauss before. But Ron McDaniel says Strauss's behavior had been an open secret for years. So your coach was aware of what you said happened? Oh, yeah. I mean, the former Ohio State tennis player says he informed a team trainer and fellow athletes that Dr. Strauss touched him inappropriately while treating a cold in 1982. And they started laughing and they were like, ah, you got hit, you're a rookie, you didn't know. And I was like, what, no what? And they were like, you could go to him for a hangnail and he has to check your testicles. Everything. And they just laughed about it. Yeah, they this. laughed about it, as in it's absurd and it's like, you got hit, you're a rookie, okay, welcome to the club, like we all went through it. We kind of validate each other. McDaniel and Snyder Hill are among 10 men who filed a new lawsuit against Ohio State University, accusing the school of fostering an ingrained culture of institutional indifference that succeeded in keeping Dr. Strauss's two decades of serial sexual abuse buried. Strauss died by suicide in 2005, years after retiring from Ohio State. So how many victims have you heard from so far? Um, dozens. Attorney Jack Lansgroner says he hopes this legal action will bring about change. What's the goal of the lawsuit? Uh, the, basically, the university turned a blind eye to a serial sexual harasser, and we want to make sure that never happens again. Ohio State launched an independent investigation in April, a spokesman says, we are aware of reports that individuals at the university did not respond appropriately during that era. These allegations are troubling and are a critical focus of the current investigation. We thought we were doing the right thing and telling our coach. They were the athletic department. We looked to the coaches, the trainers, and the doctors to do the right thing. And I mean, we are kids. We were kids. Yeah. They, they have a job to protect us. And not only did they not protect us, but they subjected us to that guy over and over and over again. Right. And then when I tried to stand up for people, they shut me down. While the men in the lawsuit are looking for acknowledgement that they were wrong, they are also seeking compensatory damages in an unspecified amount. Dana Jacobson, CBS News. And meteorologist Megan Glaros says, look at your forecast. We are looking again at a fairly light breeze. We had a cold front come through that actually dropped some cooler, more Canadian air in place around here, and it's kept it cooler and drier, lower humidity levels for us. And again, this should continue moving into the weekend. So we're anticipating uh, conditions that are going to be quite comfortable out there. Looking for a high temperature today of about likely right about 76 degrees, maybe a little bit warmer away from the immediate lakefront. Tonight, we dropped down to 60 for the overnight low, mostly clear and crisp. And tomorrow, beautiful again. Lots of sunshine, 78 degrees. These temperatures as we continue through the weekend are actually a bit below average, but by July standards, that means really comfortable and very nice. And again, we stay basically dry through the weekend. On Sunday, maybe a stray shower.